Hey everybody, uh, I wanted to get this out of my chest right now, because uh, it's been building up for a while. Um, this has just been bothering the hell out of me for a while. So I just wanted to get this out of my chest really quick. Um, I'm trying not to make a long rant about this, but I figured I probably should say something about it. Um, if you know, If you know me personally, you know that I'm a fan of Star Wars, and I've been a fan for a very long time. Uh, possibly, like, ever since I was a kid. How I was introduced to the series was, uh, actually pretty cool. Um, my uncle actually had the, the, um, the original trilogy, uh, gold edition VHS set that is basically the original theatrical cut of the original trilogy. You know, with the with the grainy look and everything, and the cheesy effects and stuff. Like, you know, it was the seventies. It was also the beginning of the eighties. It was very cheesy, but it was also pretty cool. And that's that's how I was introduced to Star Wars, and I loved it. And um, then um, around close to, I believe, almost close to the two thousands, somewhere around nineteen ninety eight, nineteen ninety seven. They re they uh, re released uh, the Star Wars films in theaters by year, um, but with the added special effects and everything. And they basically, you know, you know, they they added the you know the the part when uh, Luke and uh, Obi Wan go through uh, Mos Eisley spaceport, and you see like uh, all the visual effects and everything, and you know. It was all pretty cool at the time. You know, I was a kid. It was Star Wars for me. I didn't really care. I didn't really think about it. I didn't really make a big deal out of it as much as I kind of do now. Um, then the prequels came out. Um, of course, as a kid, I was very, very excited. Episode 1 was like, you know, uh, the it factor for me when I was a kid. I was like, a new Star Wars film? Oh, yes, I have to see this. And, um, you know, of course, I loved it. But looking at it, right, looking at it, watching it, um, of course, there's the Jar Jar Banks thing, but I'm not going to go into that because that's been said and done over and over by so many fans. Um, then episode two, of course, I liked it. Looking at it now, Digital Yoda. That's all I have to say about that film. And uh, episode three, I I actually still kind of like. I mean, granted, yeah, there are some cheesy points and there are some cheesy points, but really the whole film is just building up to the you know of Anakin Skywalker turning into Darth Vader. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted to see. That's the whole reason why people gave a shit about the prequels, because it was the origin story of Darth Vader, of Anakin Skywalker. Of, uh, you know, how he came to, how he, um, got together with Amidala and gave birth to Luke and Leia. Or, uh, Amidala, what he given? Um, of course, the, uh, third episode had the infamous, uh, no! that everybody, seems to know and everybody still makes fun of to this day. I mean, you can't go without a day of going to a possibly a Star Wars message board without even seeing the new part. And, you know, it got kind of repetitive after a while. Then, uh, the DVDs. I have the special edition DVDs. Um, yeah. So, of course, there's going to be the, uh, the Blu-ray editions of the of the trilogy that could have both the prequel and the original trilogy. And of course that inner fanboy in me wants to want, want to watch, wants to get it, because it's the original trilogy. And and possibly because I want to have the prequels, even though I don't like them. Well I don't necessarily hate them as much as a lot of other fanboys out there do. But I still have, you know, there's those moments where I'm just like, I don't want to get, I don't get a few shits about it. Um, the one problem I have with this is the news that's coming out of the 
of the new um, of the new revisions of some certain scenes of the uh, of the original trilogy. Um, case in point, uh, I heard that Ewoks are blinky. Okay. Uh, then there's the one that uh, uh, of Obi Wan screaming or making a noise to uh, take away the sand, or scare away the sand people in Episode Four. Um, I remember back. I remember if I remember correctly, um, in the original theatrical cut, it was like some kind of like dinosaur kind of yell or something. It sounded like kind of like a velociraptor. Well, not really a velociraptor, but it sounded like a dinosaur. And and then the re and then the special editions had something else. I can't. I don't know what the hell it sounded like. But this new one, this new screen, this for Blu-ray edition. It's like seriously. That's the sound. That's the way to introduce Obi Wan Kenobi in the original trilogy for this fucking Blu-ray edition. That it it made me laugh, but it also made me shake my uh, shake my head in disbelief. I cannot fucking believe they would do this. I... That's the way you're going to introduce Obi-Wan Kenobi in the original trilogy to this Blu-ray edition. That's the way you're going to do this. Okay, um, and then there's, of course, um, the, uh, the Darth Vader uh, tossing away the Emperor at the end, uh, near the end of uh, Episode Six of Return of the Jedi. Um, so let me get let me let me let me let me tell you about the original cut. Um, what it is is um, Darth Vader looking at both the Emperor while he's uh, shocking Anakin with his or not Anakin he's shocking the group with his force lightning and then he looks over and then he sees Luke laying on the ground in agonizing pain and basically asking his father please he's like father please it's such a small it's such like a gripping scene and then when you see him looking back and forth and then he realizes what he's doing wrong or he, he has to change apart and then he tosses he picks up the emperor and he gets shocked himself and throws him out and and then he, you know, he risks his life, basically, to save his son. Okay, that's fine with me. But in this revision of what they're doing for that scene, it's basically they're doing the no in episode 3 and taking that into episode 6. Not as no, but, but it's sort of like uh, Darth is looking over and then going no. No! Then picks up the Emperor. You know what the beautiful thing about that scene was? That there was no dialogue. There was no him thinking about it or him saying anything. It was his body language that made that, that, made that part so good. And yet you're putting down this this uh no no part and if you're putting that in the fucking scene are you trying to make us piss George Lucas are you trying because I am it's that inner fanboy in me that loves the original trilogy so much that you're going around and fucking with those scenes it's it pisses me off. It really pisses me off. The fact that you're putting that no part in episode 6 is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I don't understand why. What made you think you were going to put that, you had to put that in episode 6? What went through your mind to be able to put that at the end? I saw that I saw those both those scenes uh, in an article on IGN, 
and I just rolled my rolled my head, and I was thinking about it the whole time I was at work last night, and I was thinking about what I was gonna have to say, and I knew I had to make a video about it. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm making, I'm basically just talking about what I just seen with my own eyes. It's ridiculous. It's really starting to kill that inner fanboy in me. And I don't want that inner fanboy to, to be dead. Because I love the Star Wars franchise. I love the original trilogy. And I don't hate the prequels as much as everybody else does. But I do have my moments where I genuinely dislike it. Of course, you know, there's the Jar Jars and, you know, the whining and uh, whiny Anakin and, you know, the whole... Um, uh, the mini chlorine, you know, the whole microscopic bacteria and like, and their and the Jedi bloodstream. It's not, you know, magic or anything. It's bacteria. It's in their blood. Okay. But the fact that you're putting some revisions in these in, in the scenes of the original trilogy makes us makes me think that you know you are basically you don't give a shit about the original trilogy anymore you want this franchise to be both loved and hated at the same time and Jan and i don't even know if i want to even get the blu-ray editions now because of this shit because that just pisses me off the special editions really pissed me off because at the end of the uh, at the end of the episode six, to get with the times, uh, during the part when the, the spirits of you know Obi Wan and Yoda are looking at the party uh, at um, Endor Forest, and you know they're going to show Anakin Skywalker there. In the original cut, they showed him as an older version of Anakin, which was really cool. But in the special editions, they had a ghost of young Anakin Skywalker. And every time I see that scene, it, it, it kills me. So, you know what? I'm just going to end this right here. Um, I'm pissed. God damn you, George Lucas. God damn you. And I'm not seeing the movies in 3D. Fuck your 3D, okay? Fuck your 3D. So, that's it. I just wanted to get that out of my chest. If you guys have something to say about it, feel free. I want to hear everybody's opinion about this. You already know my opinion. It's been going on for almost 13 minutes right now, so I went on a little longer than I thought. But you, but you have to understand. You got to understand the kind of frustrations I'm going through because of my love for this franchise and what George Lucas is basically doing to my inner fanboy right now. So you know, so that's it. I uh, just wanted to get that out of the way. Feel free to comment. I'm getting ready to go because this is just this is upsetting me more and more. I talk about it, so uh, I will talk to you guys later. Take care.